We just recently launched our entry-level AIO in the form of the Pure Loop, which has turned out to be very popular due to its price performance ratio and low noise. Now we are entering the market with an even more powerful and above all, even quieter series. The Silent Loop 2 all-in-one water cooling system. And what sort of tinkering we did in order to lower the decibel numbers even further, you can find out in this video. But first, we are going to talk about the increased performance. The radiator houses Silent Wings 3 fans with either 120 or 140 mm in their high-speed versions, in the 120 mm radiator version also in a push-pull setting. At low power they are almost inaudible and at higher or full load the waste heat is pushed out of the radiator still very quietly, but with massive force. They are our strongest fans for a reason. The pump, which is located in the cooling unit, is also one of the strongest models on the market and offers massive performance even for those who want to tickle the last degree Celsius out of the system. Just like you can adjust the PWM fans, silence enthusiasts can regulate the pump down to 9 volts and thusly make everything very very quiet. of fins on the inside of the nickel plated base plate we achieve a massively increased cooling surface. The fins are so delicate that they are not visible to the naked eye even from a short distance. One of our prototypes had even 17% more fins integrated. Here however the pump had to build up too much pressure to manage the flow resistance which is why this variant with just above 120 fins prevailed as the optimal compromise. And with the right number and a few further optimizations, we came up with the best performance result in combination with the other components thanks to a higher flow rate. And that's exactly what it's all about. The pump, radiator and the fans are perfectly aligned with each other. And thanks to its large cooling surface, the 360mm version provides high performance cooling for all high-end processors, including the Threadripper CPUs. The most demanding applications can therefore be kept running smoothly. Let's get back to the heart of Silent Loop 2, the powerful pump. Since water turbulences often occur in the pump area, which in combination with air bubbles tend to be an annoying source of noise, we have taken a different path this time, the innovative three chamber design. The second of the three chambers offers the coolant enough space to spread after it has flowed over the radiator fins at high pressure. Afterwards, it goes without strong turbulences into the pump unit from where the liquid is pushed back into the tubes. The Silent Loop 2's more even suction in combination with a three-phase six-pole motor ensures a very quiet and even operation. However, our designers were still not happy with the results at high performance. What was going on, Tim? Well, simply put, the Silent Loop was still too loud for us, even after many months of development. That's why we started testing different insulation methods. After several attempts, we ended up with a rather simple, yet in detail quite sophisticated solution. The entire pump housing is wrapped in a massive rubber insulation, which swallows the lion's share of the vibrations and resonances of the pump unit. Very well, let's check out the difference. Quiet and performant, these are the premises in our silent products and we were more than able to meet these expectations in the AIO world. Familiar features such as the simple refilling of the cooling fluid are of course also included in the four radiator models with 120, 240, 280 and 360 millimeters. 
And if you have an old motherboard or too few RGB connectors, the color of the pump unit can also be adjusted via SATA connector and remote control. And here is the cherry on top, the Silent Loop 2 glows blue or colorful or automatically or in your color of silence. Here's mine. Well then, stay quiet. Experience Corsair's best ever liquid cooling performance with our Hydra Series RGB Platinum Coolers. Hydra Series Platinum features vivid RGB lighting and is built for extreme CPU cooling performance. Our Hydra Series Platinum coolers come equipped with ML Pro RGB fans with magnetic levitation bearings so you can have outrageous performance at low noise levels. And with four hub mounted RGB LEDs, they look as good as they perform. Our Hydra Series Platinum coolers have a thermally optimized cold plate and a low noise pump design for quiet yet high performance cooling. Platinum also has a zero RPM fan mode, so with IQ you can control the fans from zero to 2000 RPM, letting you decide between high performance or low noise. IQ also allows you to monitor your coolant temperatures, allows you to change your fan lighting and speed profiles, all from a single intuitive interface. And with 16 individually addressable RGB LEDs, this is the best looking pump unit we've ever made. The Hydra Series Platinum comes in two sizes, 280 millimeter with the H115i and 240 millimeter with the H100i. Like all of our coolers, it's easy to install and comes with brackets for all the modern sockets. I like the Hydra Series Platinum so much, I put it in my home PC. So for more information or to just buy one right now, just go over to Corsair.com. Introducing the new Kraken X and the all-new Kraken Z. The NZXT Krakens are a must-have for any build, providing high-performance liquid cooling, intuitive installation, and greater visual effects and customization. The new Kraken X series maintains the customizable lighting effects and quiet performance of previous generations and adds a new high-performance pump as well as an NZXT RGB channel for even more lighting and RGB fan options. With a redesigned cap and larger infinity mirror ring LED, the new Kraken X delivers an amazing experience in RGB liquid cooling, backed by a six-year warranty. 
The all-new Kraken Z-Series lets you personalize your all-in-one liquid cooler like never before through Cam's unique software interface. You can do more than simply retune settings. You can now display your favorite images and animated GIFs or Cam's system information, allowing for total customization. The Kraken Z-Series provides superior performance in liquid cooling, simple installation, and a look that is uniquely your own. For Intel Socket LGA 1150X platform, install the Intel backplate on the rear of the motherboard as oriented here. Ensure the sliders fit into the mounting holes. The backplate of the CPU socket will fit within the cutout of the Intel backplate. From the front of the motherboard, install the four standoffs. For Intel Socket LGA 2011 and 2066, use the standoffs provided and install them onto the motherboard's backplate. For AMD Socket AM4, remove the stock AMD mounting bracket and keep the original backplate on the rear of the motherboard. Then install the four AMD standoffs from the front of the motherboard. To change the retention bracket, press and hold the Intel retention bracket firmly towards the pump and rotate it counterclockwise to release. Then install the AMD retention bracket onto the pump. The logo orientation of the Kraken X can be adjusted using the rotatable cap. The pump cap has a rotatable upper section with 12 locking points. Depending on your motherboard, you can orient the pump to fit your needs. The display orientation of the Kraken Z can be adjusted within cam in two directions. For the best viewing angles, we recommend installing the Kraken Z with the tubes at a 3 o'clock orientation. The 90 degree counterclockwise orientation can be used if the tubes are installed at a 6 o'clock position. Simply click on Rotate Display within CAM once you have the Kraken installed. Place the pump within the retention bracket onto the CPU. Ensure the standoffs go through the holes on the bracket and apply the thumb nuts diagonally before tightening them securely. For mounting the radiator directly onto the case, install the fans to the radiator first using the 30mm fan screws and washers. Use the 5mm case screws and washers to mount the radiator to the case or radiator bracket. For mounting in which the fans fit between the radiator and chassis, use the 30mm fan screws and washers for mounting. The long fan screws will mount the radiator through the fans. For Kraken X, connect the fans to your motherboard or a fan controller. For Kraken Z, connect the fan cable to the first fan connector on the included breakout cable set with four pins. Use the remaining fan connectors as needed. Connect the three pin connector on the breakout cable set to the 4-pin CPU fan or AIO pump connector on the motherboard. You may need to disable fan fail warning within the motherboard BIOS if CPU fan is unused. Connect the SATA power cable. Connect the mini USB cable from the pump to an available USB 2.0 internal connector on the motherboard. Connect compatible NZXD RGB accessories to the RGB LED connector on the breakout cable. Be sure to check the orientation of the RGB connectors, making sure pin 1 is aligned on both connectors. Once you have set up your Kraken, turn on your PC and proceed to download and install the NZXT CAM software to enable Kraken controls. To learn more about the NZXT Krakens, visit nzxt.com. And to always stay updated on NZXT products, subscribe to our channel. If you like the video, please click on the like button, write a comment, and subscribe to my channel.